In this example of channel design, we actually have a turning basin off to the side. So I have my left basin, I have the X, Y, and the side slope transition from my center channel into the turning basin. Well, this first point and the last point for the turning basin, since it's a left basin, also have to be in the left toe list. So we'd find those same points if we, if we hunt in there. And then for the basin information, we have the depth of the turning basin. It has to be at a different depth than the center of the channel. Well, we go to general now, we can go ahead and let's go ahead and make lines at a 50 meter spacing first without smart corners. And we can see how the lines overlap each other, and that's going to be a problem. That's why we almost always want to use smart corners if we have sharp turns in there, because it will then proportion the lines around the turn. And as I step through my lines here, you'll go ahead and see the section start to change as we get into the turning basin. And you have the transition into the turning basin and then the side slope. So it has a constant side slope all the way around the outside. Use my arrow keys, I can rotate this around and give you an idea what the 3D channel looks like. And then we would save it to a plan line and let's go ahead and save our plan.